what's going on it's been a little bit unfortunately uh, the last video I didn't do much filming because uh, it was streetcar takeover and unfortunately I didn't uh, didn't do too well because my car went down so just try to support my friends and uh, well today we're gonna get back out and see if we can get to the track uh, rain's giving us a break it's uh, about 80 degrees 82 degrees you know it's supposed to get down to 70s a little later so as long as the rain holds off uh, we're gonna get out there and see if we can get this nine um, some of the changes we made was some uh, slick changes uh, went to M and H slicks off of the Mickey Thompson so went to a 24 and a half by nine and a half slick uh, these things are just supposed to be a lot better about holding the track Plus, I think my Mickey Thompson Slicks was just uh, broke down and not holding the track no more. Uh, power went up, eighth mile went down. Um, so my best eighth mile times was always when uh, I had around 400, 450 horsepower. And as power went up, the Slicks got a little older. Uh, my short track just got worse and worse. You know, quarter mile times got better just because I was making more power on the top end. So, you know, we're going to try to get this thing rock and rolling down the track and hopefully get the short mile or short track uh, improved. See here, you know, we got some meat on this guy now. Uh, they're definitely a little taller. I uh, was surprised how much taller they were than the old Mickey Thompsons, even at the same, uh, well, I mean, they're pretty much the same size, other than a half inch wider rated wise, but they stood about an inch and a half taller than the Mickey Thompsons side by side, um, which was really impressive. So I should get a little gear ratio back, uh, which I don't have to have, but it should uh, definitely help hold the track a little bit better. If I can get the 60 foots down, you know, I'll run a 10-3 with a 186 60 foot in a horrible eighth mile you know the speed was there you know going on 117 miles per hour and eight uh just right at 147 in the quarter but uh that 186 60 foot you know just get down to a 16 something you know that's a, a 9899 so today go is uh you know get that 60 foot down you know do my 16 uh the car is making the power that it's made uh which is the most it's ever made just under 700 horsepower we should see that nine second time slip as long as the car holds together so let's get out to the track. pop-ups everywhere so I'm hoping we can avoid all that and uh, get some racing in so a light rain is not gonna stop things but the first time it comes a downpour it's over for the night so cross the fingers and hope we get some runs in <laughs> Uh, that way if I ever miss a gear 
or I go to you know, push a clutch in the full throttle shift, the RPMs will drop down uh, and it won't over rev the car. Well, my foot was touching the clutch pedal and um, kept kicking that in, in, you know, and that's not good. So even with this crappy of a, you know, run that that is, you know, the boost was 11 pounds, 12 pounds, 20 pounds, 26 pounds, 23 pounds, 18 pounds, and, we was, and I was only full throttle for about two and a half seconds for that entire uh, path, and it still went 11 to it, 130 something. So, um, tickled to death with that, and it was bad 60 foot, um, wasn't ready for it, and by the way, I'm uh, gonna keep this thing going and get some bugs worked out, and, and I feel pretty good about tonight. Um, just gotta make sure I get everything back where it's supposed to be. Second gear popped out. I wasn't sure exactly what happened, and uh, it balled really bad. Boost went down to nothing, uh, so it had to rebuild and kind of take off. The car still did a 10.5, uh, just at, just under 137, like 136.8, and that was after losing half a second gear and having to go in third and just ball through it. So, like I say, it was a great night good learning experience you know at the same time it was bad i'm never gonna get this nine second time slip it's uh it's gonna haunt me cars got it in it uh just gotta hold it together so unfortunately you know breaking second gear just don't get it done and uh it lost all the boost when i when the gear went out and it dropped all the way down to like 5300 rpms when i had it throw it in third so just that pause losing the boost uh made all the difference world 
So a 155, 60 foot, um, I was down almost eight miles per hour in eighth and down almost eight to 10 miles per hour in a quarter and still ran a 10.5. So the car was on a pass. It was gonna run a nine. That was my nine second time slip, you know, Again, that's, you know, the car's making a lot of power now and why, you know, it took out second gear. So until next time, luckily I got two second gears sitting at the house waiting to put in. Uh, unfortunately, I think the same thing's gonna happen every time I come to the track. So I'm gonna have to probably invest in some better gears, uh, whether I want to or not, because I'm not gonna wanna take this transmission out every five days. Until next time, people, we'll see y'all then.